Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with the latest case from LifeProof for iPhone 10. The LifeProof Free is going to double the amount of waterproof protection that your iPhone comes with. It gives you 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection, and it comes with a built-in screen protector. Let's look at this case a little bit further on my iPhone 10 in space gray. Like all previous LifeProof cases that I have reviewed, the LifeProof Free is a two-piece case and requires disassembly before you put it on your phone. So in order to do that, you need to first open up your lightning port opening at the bottom and then locate this little notch down here at the bottom of the case. So you're going to need to put a coin or something similar in this notch in order to open it up. Some versions of LifeProof cases come with this little black key. I'm not really sure whether there was something special about my review samples that they didn't or whether this is something that they have discontinued, but a coin works just fine as well. So you want to put the coin in there and twist in order to pop open the case so that you can pull off the back of it. Looking at the construction of this case, the plastic back here has a rubberized seal that runs around the perimeter to keep out water. We have a clear plastic window for your Apple logo, as well as a clear plastic windows here for your camera. And we have some foam here to provide additional shock protection. The front of the case is dominated by the clear plastic screen protector, and we have a combination of a hard plastic and a rubberized material on the edges to give you more grip. As with any case, you want to make sure that both the case and the phone are perfectly clean prior to installation. This is particularly important with a waterproof case and one that has a built-in screen protector because if you have any little bits of dust or dirt that are caught along the edges, they can compromise the seals. And with your built-in screen protector, obviously you want to make sure that that is perfectly clean and your screen is perfectly clean in order to get the best results. You can use a microfiber cloth, you can use a dust removal sticker. Sadly, neither of these is included in the packaging but hopefully you have something around the house. Once everything is beautiful and clean, insert your phone into the case top first and gently lay it down. Then take the back of the case and clip it into place. Looking at the fit of this case on my iPhone 10, we have a nice, tight, secure fit on here. Everything goes on very firmly and securely and feels really good on the hand. We have a nice amount of grip on here. This does add a certain amount of thickness to the case, but given the fact that this is a waterproof case as well as a drop protective case, that is really to be expected. We've got a nice amount of protective lip on here for your iPhone screen, which is great. We also do have a built-in screen protector on here, a plastic screen protector, and this is one of the areas which is a little bit on the weak side of this case. Not in terms of it being structurally weak, but in terms of usability, uh, there is a certain amount of rainbowing that occurs with this case. You can see it mostly when the screen is off or if you're looking to the side like this. If you look straight on, you really don't notice it. But uh, if the screen is off or something like that, that's definitely when it is the most noticeable. This is affected by the amount of humidity that you have in the air. It's been a problem with free cases for as long as I've ever known. It's a long-standing problem. It's obviously not something that's very easy for LifeProof to fix. Otherwise, they would have fixed it. But in terms of day-to-day -day use, it's really not an issue because, again, when you look at it straight on, which is the way you're looking at your phone when you're actually using it, you don't see it. So that's really not that big of an issue. But you definitely do have to mention it in a review. Looking at our port openings, given the fact that this is a waterproof case, everything is protected. We have a little door here protecting your lightning port opening. Looking at the opening itself, this is somewhat large. It's going to fit some third-party lightning cables, but probably not all. No problem with your OEM cables. And, of course, this case does support wireless charging, so that is good. If you're using wireless charging, then you're probably not going to have to fiddle with this very much, particularly if you are also using Bluetooth headphones. Your speaker and microphone areas are reasonably well protected here. In terms of audio quality, I find that the incoming audio quality is absolutely fine. So playing music and listening uh, to what people have to say to me on the phone, absolutely no problems there. As far as the opinions of people that I've spoken to on the phone, they're like, well, it's okay. They don't seem to have any trouble understanding me, but they do think that it is somewhat worse than it ordinarily would be. That's really not all that surprising. Typically, waterproof cases do have some audio quality issues. I don't think that this is any kind of deal breaker. Personally, I find it to be perfectly fine, but it's not going to be as good as if you are using a non waterproof case. Going around to the side here, we have some light
life proof branding here. The sides have a nice feel to them. We have a combination of our polycarbonate and a rubbery material, it gives a nice amount of grip. Going here to our volume up and down buttons, they are stiff, really stiff. They are stiffer than the side button on the other side, not really sure why. Hopefully this will improve over time, but they are noticeably stiff. As far as the mute switch, this actually works really well, no issues there. Going around here to the top, not a lot going on there. And again, side button, it's stiffish, but it's not nearly as stiff as the volume up and down buttons. Looking at the back of the case, we have a clear plastic window where you can view the beauty of your Apple logo without any worry that it's going to get scratched or anything like that because being a waterproof case, of course, everything is covered. We have some life-proof branding down here at the bottom. We have good coverage here for your camera. There's no issue with the usage of flash. Everything works really well. You just need to be sure to keep this area clean, otherwise your photographic uh, quality is going to suffer. As far as scratching or anything like that on this back material is concerned, this is a softer plastic so you do have to worry somewhat about scratching but the fact that we have this little ridge that runs around the edge definitely does help cut down on scratching so uh, hopefully it's not going to be a huge issue it's also a matte plastic so any scratches on it are not going to show up that much but it is possible to get kind of gouges in the softer plastic so do be aware of that overall this case just has a really nice feel in the hand everything really looks good looking a little further at the screen protector on the free there are a few other issues on it beyond the rainbowing previously mentioned. Probably the biggest issue with it is optical quality. So this is definitely not going to be as good as the iPhone 10 screen itself. It's not going to be as good as a tempered glass screen protector and it's not going to be as good as your typical adhesive plastic screen protector. The key word there of course is adhesive. This is not an adhesive screen protector. It doesn't stick to your screen so there's that little bit of a gap and that is what's messing up your optical quality. However, it's just necessary with this kind of case design and there's not a lot that can be done about it but it's definitely something to be aware of now in terms of usage it generally works really pretty well all of your swiping is fine no issues there um, in terms of typing quality, no big issues. You do have to press a little harder, it seems, than you would otherwise, but you get used to it pretty fast. There's a little bit more of a gap toward the edges than in the middle, and so it sounds a little hollower toward the edges, but again, this is all something that you get used to, and it really does not put a dent in terms of usability. So just something to be aware of there. One question a lot of people ask is why you need a waterproof case if your iPhone is already waterproof, and the answer would be that this double the waterproof protection that your iPhone gives you. So essentially your iPhone is waterproof to one meter for 30 minutes. This is two meters for an hour, which is a significant difference. So if you want to spend time with your phone in the water, if you want to do water sports, etc., definitely consider getting a waterproof case because you're going to get a whole lot more protection. So overall, I think that this is a really good case for the iPhone if you are into spending time with your phone in the water, particularly if you're spending time with your phone at places like the beach, because that's when this case is really going to come in handy, because with your screen protection, you're protected for things like sand and other nasty abrasives, which are going to scratch up your beautiful new phone. You don't want that. This case is giving you 360 degree protection. You've got excellent drop protection at 6.6 .6 feet. You've got your waterproof protection. And overall, you can feel that your phone is going to be well protected inside the free. Yeah, it's a little thicker. Yes, you have some issues with the screen, but overall, I think that it's very usable and it just is going to provide excellent protection for those iPhones that have a more active life. Again, we've been looking at the LifeProof Free for iPhone 10. This case is available directly from LifeProof as well as from other retailers, and I will put links below where you can find out more about it. It has an MSRP of $89.99 on LifeProof's USA website and $79.99 on LifeProof's Asia website, and comes in a total of six colors. This particular color is called Wipeout. Many thanks to the kind folks at LifeProof Asia for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this case, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please do consider it because I have lots more great case reviews for iPhone 10 yet to come. Again, this is Kristen and this is the Life Proof Free for iPhone 10. Have a fantastic day.